everyone, it's Anne. Today we're going to take a look at an astrology deck called the Astro Alignment Deck, a deck and guidebook for a celestial connection by Grace Dern. And it's fairly new. It's, it was released in February, at the very end of February 2023, earlier this year. And we're uh, like the first week and a half of July 2023. So about four and a half months, almost five months. So uh, it's less than six months old. It is published by RP Studio. It's not a, uh, here's RP, oops. Ah, making a mess here. Everything falling out. All right, so RP Studio. It's not uh, a common publisher, but they are a publisher. So it's written in the stars, created by Grace Dern of Mystic Mondays. So if you guys own or are familiar with the Mystic Mondays deck, uh, that's the same author. The Astro Alignment deck, deck teaches you to draw on the principles of astrology to explore the cosmos within yourself. Discover the insights of the signs, modality, planets, and more. Render in stunning color on durable divination cards in a unique circular shape that evokes the night sky. An enclosed guidebook features information on each of these cosmic phenomena and sample spreads for unlocking their meaning in your readings. This deluxe set includes 80 full color Oracle cards in sealed inner box, a 112 page flexi bound guidebook, magnetic closure keepsakes box. So, and there's a few pictures of the cards, hard case. The magnet, it's okay. It's not as strong as some of the decks. As you can see, when I dropped the box, it, it popped open. So it is, there is magnet, but it, but it's not as strong as some, but if you keep it upright, it's okay. But if you accidentally drop it, see, it'll, it, things will fall out. So you may, if you're traveling or in packing to go, you may want to wrap something around it just to bind it. So that looks supposed to be like the night sky, I'm assuming. And then there's the guidebook. And you can tell that she's the same author as the Mystic uh, Monday deck although I do I own that deck I think I do I think I did end up buying it I bought it later so a very bold vibrant vivid vibrant colors and there's the thickness of the guidebook and all the different astrological symbols and we'll take a look at the guidebook uh, in depth once after we look at the cards there's thumb coal cut out here and this is plastic and it's velvety and the box fit perfectly so that's the inside of the outer box and then we have the smaller box where the cars are in it has all the diff different um, astrological sign and I don't know why does it say mystic Mondays here I don't get it did they use the same symbol as her tarot deck because it because this is the astro alignment deck, right? I'm confused, but then they have all these astrological symbols. So this is just a soft tuck box. And they did make it easy with the thumb hole cut out. So I had the hardest time opening tuck box, so that did make it easy. I love all the colors. And they are round, as we just read. Just plain inside, dark blue. There's the bottom. So each side has like a different color. It has ombre effect and then different colors. Really very colorful blocks. Okay, so the cards are round. And then the backs of the cards are like the box. So ombre, different colors of the rainbow. And... Just for scaling and size-wise to give you an idea. They're small. They're circular, but they're small. And they fit right on the palm of my hand. And I have petite hands. 
and comparing it to a traditional plaid back tarot the circle is like half the size of the card it does go out a little bit but not by too much and then comparing it to a hay house oracle card so that lets you see give you a nice visual as far as the size card stock is matte papery bendable flexible it does have a little coating on it it feels more on the buttery side but not a lot buttery but it's it's nice all right and they are not gilded so just plain edge and let's zoom in and take a look at the cards so not only is it a good astrological deck if you want to learn astrology because they have the houses and the sign but I noticed they have really, really good keywords, and that's one of the reasons why I bought it, although I am in interested in astrology myself, but um, the keywords are really good. I mean, the keywords are designed, it's meant for the astrology card, like the first house represents, you know, yourself, your body, your presence, but you can use, have multi-use with this deck because if you're using it as a clarifier deck in a tarot card reading, you know, the key words here, I find, I, I, from my quick glimpse, I found it to be good clarifier words. All right. So this is like the wheel, the 12 Zodiac. Oh, and then it starts out with the first house. So they even highlight it for you in red. First house is Aries, and it represents self-body presence. Very nice. Second house is Taurus, and it's highlighted for you, and it has the symbol of the sign. Yeah, so here's Aries symbol, and now we're Taurus. And finances, value, possession. Ooh, I like this. Third house, communication, transportation, local community, and that's Gemini. Fourth house, family roots, foundation, and that is Cancer. Fifth house is uh, Leo, and it rules fun, hobbies, and creativity. Sixth house is work, service, and health. Seventh house is partnerships, balance, one-on-one -on -one relationships, and that's Libra. Eighth house is Scorpio, metamorphosis, death, rebirth. Ninth house is philosophy, spirituality, knowledge, Sagittarius. Tenth house is career, public life, reputation. That's Capricorn. Eleventh house, collaboration, memberships, network, Aquarius. Twelfth house is Pisces, karma, shadow, secrets. Do we go through all the sign? Two three four five six did i skip one i think the cards were stuck together because i don't recall yeah i don't recall re reading virgos if i have i i think the cards were stuck together but if I have, it'll just be redundant, but if I haven't, at least we have it here. Sixth house, work, service, health, and that's Virgo. Seventh house is Libra, partnership, balance, win, one. Yeah, I think the Virgo card was stuck to the fifth house of Leo, because I remember reading this and this, but I don't recall reading the sixth house, so that's why I went back, because I felt like something was missing. And then we did the eighth house. Scorpio metamorphosis, yep. We did the ninth, the tenth, Capricorn, and then the eleventh, Aquarius, and then the twelfth. All right. Ooh, I like the purple. It looked purple on the screen, but it's actually pink. If uh, I let 
the natural light shine. It's like light pink, ombre pink. Uh, 12th house, Pisces Karma Shadow Secrets. All right, so now we're moving into the elements, it looks like. So we have air, expansive, intellectual, inquisitive. Aquarius. Okay, so we have the air element, and then it describes the air element. And then we go into all the signs of air. Aquarius, innovative, rational, humanitarian. Oh, but now it goes into Aries, trailblazing, innovative, fearless. Oh, is it just an alphabetical order? Uh, okay, so it looks like it's an alphabetical order, you guys. And it's not arranged in order by the, the elements. So we have the 12 houses and then we go into alphabetical order. So now we have ascendant, appearance, first impression, mark, or mask. Ascendant, all right, so that's your appearance, what you show to the world. So it may not be your actual true self, but it's what the world see, the appearance, the first impression that the world see, so it could be a mask. And then we have cancer, nurturing, sensitive, caring. That's moi. <laughs> and Capricorn. So it is in alphabetical order. Capricorn, disciplined, tenacious, resilient. Cardinal, initiation, spark, vision. Ceres, Ceres, I'm not sure how you pronounce this, Ceres, self-care, wellness, agriculture, Chiron, core wounds, vulnerability, potential through pain, conjunction, integration, synergy, unity, cuffs, transition, lim liminality, Twilight, Descendant, Attraction, Relationships, Partnership, Earth, Pragmatic, Grounded, Enduring, Equinox, Commitment, Integration, Shifts, check out this Equinox card, isn't that cool, that's when it's equal day and night, we have two, the longest day of the year, one in the spring and one in the fall, spring equinox and winter equinox. I like that. Eros, er, erotism, eroticism, desire, sex. Eros. Fire, radiant, enthusiastic, dynamic. First quarter moon, momentum, initiative, magnetism. So all the phases of the moon here. Fix, action, momentum, dedication. Full moon, culmination, release, illumination. Gaia, earth, nature, embodiment. Gemini, multifaceted, balance, curious. Gemini is my ascendant. So that's my the first impression, what people see in me, my outer Gemini. So I come across as an air sign, but I'm actually a, a sensitive water sign. All right. I'm in I'm um, Koilai. I hope I pronounced that right. I'm not familiar with this astro astrological term nadir origins inner child juno marriage commitment bonds wow that would be a good clarifier card for a love reading 
this feels thick. I thought there was two cards stuck together, but I guess not. Jupiter. Optimism, growth, opportunity. Leo, courageous, regal, loyal. Libra, diplomatic, harmony, balance. Lilith, power, activism, vengeance. Lunar eclipse, culmination, release, illumination. Oh, I like how they depict that. Solar eclipse, lunar eclipse. Mars, competition, action, willpower. Medium, coli, or coeli. I don't know how to pronounce it. Midhaven, direction, reputation. Mercury, communication, correspondence, expression. Moon, void, of course. Disconnect, withdraw, reception. Moon, emotions, instincts, subconscious. Mutable, versatility, versatility, flexibility, adaptability. Neptune. Mysticism, spirituality, escapism. New moon, creation, intention, potential. North node, destiny, purpose, activation. Opposition, resistance, struggle, polarity. Palace, wisdom, skill, self-defense. Pisces, psychic, intuitive, dreamy. Planetary return, cyclicality, homecoming, progress. Pluto, regeneration, rebirth, transformation. Psyche, soul, consciousness, mind. Quince cunts, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Dissonance, adjustment, discord, retrograde, reversal, deceleration, distance, Sagittarius, adventurous, free, philosophical, Saturn, discipline, obstacles, boundaries, Scorpio, deep, intense, transformative, sex style, harmony, ease, compatibility, Solar Eclipse, Creation, Intention, Potential. Solstice, Focus, Transition, Application. South Node, Past Lives, Natural Gifts, Karmic Challenges. Square, Competition, Tension, Disharmony. Sun, life, vitality, purpose. Supermoon, luminosity, intimacy, hyper awareness. Taurus, tactile, grounded, stable. Third quarter moon, breakdown, readjustment, forgiveness. Transits, insight, movement, change. Oh, look how pretty that is. Trying, auspicious, positivity, luck, Uranus, revolution, invention, eccentricity, Venus, beauty, artistry, love, Vesta, inner spark, sacrifice, devotion, Virgo, analytical, functional, efficient, Waning crescent moon, surrender, restoration, trust. Waning gibbous moon, harvest, reception, gratitude. Water, refreshing, mysterious, fluid. Waxing cr crescent moon, focus, concept, conceptualization, strategy. Waxing gibbous moon, nurturing, patience, refinement. And that's the last card. Here's another look at the backs. And let's take a look at the guidebook. Zoom out. 
Ooh, ombre effect. RP Studio is located in Philadelphia. 2023 table of contents introduction there is a whole universe inside you just waiting to be explored are you ready rituals if you are looking to deepen your practice with astrology in tandem with the astro alignment deck visit mysticalmondays.com so that's her website i guess there's other things on there that can assist how to use the cards one card astro alignment questions three card spread path present future and then here are all 12 uh astrological symbol so that's nice you have this little chart modalities modalities represents the behavioral energy of the zodiac signs with each season there are three cardinal fixed and mutable and those are called modalities. Each season contains all three modalities, embodying the rhythm and flow of the season itself. Think of modalities like a three-act play, with each season containing a beginning, middle, and end. Modalities are sometimes known as quadru quadruplicities, indicating groups of four because there are four zodiac signs for each modality. All of the elements are also represented in each modality with a fire, water, air, and earth sign in each group. Oh, and then they, she gives you a cheat sheet uh, for the season spring. And then the cardinal is uh, Aries, fix is Taurus, and mutable is Gemini. In the season summer, we have Cancer as cardinal, Leo is fix, and Virgo as mutable. All right. And fall, we have Libra as cardinal, Scorpio as fix, and Sagittarius as mutable. Winter, Capricorn as cardinal, Aquarius is the fixed sign, and Pisces is the mutable sign. So very nice, easy breakdown. Then we have all the cardinals fixed. <coughs> I can smell the ink of the sheet of the book. It's brand new. So you get all your elements and then the zodiac sign, even uh, constellations. Very nice. And then the, the write-up uh, of the 12 zodiac signs. And then the different houses. So she goes into depth on each house. Well, not depth, but, you know, you get a page. More than what's on the card is what I mean. Astrological axis. Ascendant. So the planets. <coughs> this ink is going, it's very strong. It doesn't smell bad. It's just strong and it's going, I'm breathing it straight in. So it's making me want to cough moon phases so this is a nice introduction and it seems pretty complete as far as the sign the planets the constellation the aspects the modalities so these are the aspects conjunction sextile square trying these are all the aspects in astrology so Astrology lingo here, opposition. I'm familiar with most of them except for this one, Quinn, Quinn Kunk. I'm not familiar with that. That was the one word and the one uh, word that I'm not familiar with as far as astrology goes. Time travel. Astrology, like the season in nature, has a rhythm providing comfort with its consistent cycles. And then retrograde, planetary return, equinox, solstice. And then that's it. 111 pages. Very nice. So if you are interested in an astrology deck. And you are a beginner looking for something 
nice and simple. Uh, you, this may be a deck you want to, you know, consider starting out with at least. I mean, it's not a lot, a lot like a astro astrology book would be, but it's not as intimidating either. You know, it's like it has everything, but, um, it's nice and simple and simplified. So it makes it easy to follow. So as usual, I will put the link in the description underneath the video. If you are interested in purchasing, purchasing it or checking it out, reading more about it. Uh, thanks for watching and I will catch you again on the next video. Bye.